Focus for Metro Police tonight, finding people who shoot someone but don't kill the victim. The solve rate for actual homicides is more than 90%, but for victims who survive in those cases, that drops significantly. It's part of an effort spearheaded by Sheriff Kevin McMahill to reduce violent crime and increase those solve rates. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Latoya Silman. The Sheriff's plan to put together a new team as well. Our Kristen Drummond live outside Metro headquarters with more on their efforts and also the need for all of this. Kristen. Well, Jim and Latoya, the sheriff says shootings where the victim does not die has a less than 50% solve rate, and that's a statistic that he now wants to change. What we're not doing as well in solving those crimes. A new effort may help. Sheriff Kevin McMahill telling News 3 this week about the recently formed what he calls the Violent Crime Reduction Team. So we put together a team of sergeants and detectives about all focused on a certain task finding the shooters in cases where the victim was not killed. So what I decided was that we we have known shooters that have, have you know obviously tried to take somebody's life but based on a matter of inches somebody did not die. That type of crime happening last month by a 7-Eleven gas station at the Rainbow Boulevard and Smoke Ranch Road intersection. Police posting on social media last week a call for help to find these men. They're accused of shooting someone in a parked car. The person was taken to the hospital and survived, but the suspected shooters remain at large. When I looked at the data that shows when we have an individual who is shot but doesn't die, we fall off to somewhere between uh, 30 and 50 percent in solve rate for those individuals. Far behind the homicide solve rate, which is at more than 90 percent. In fact, we're, we're sitting at about 94 percent. So. The point of that statistic is, is that if you commit a homicide in our jurisdiction, you're going to get caught. The new team trying to match that performance. The sheriff plans to re-centralize them at headquarters, tasking them with utilizing the same technology used for homicide investigations. I would say, yeah, anything's positive for the neighbor, for the uh, community, right? If this new team can help to uh, mitigate those kinds of crimes going forward, uh, that, that would be great. It would be good for our communities. John Olive lives in the Smoke Ranch community. He welcomes the new initiative, waiting to know if the team can solve this latest crime by the gas station. If they're able to develop a database uh, that includes um, likely suspects or likely individuals that uh, have uh, done that kind of, uh, have committed those kinds of crimes in the past, uh, I think that'll increase their success. So once again, this team is meant to find the shooters who committed those crimes, shots one, but their victim did not die. When this team is likely to launch, well, the sheriff did not say, but again, we will be asking questions to see when they are going out and eventually find that data to see how successful they are in this new task. Reporting live outside of Metro headquarters, I'm Kristen Drummond, News 3. All right, Kristen, thank you so much for that report.